Good morning. I love little sayings in golf. I like the one that says, uh, when you're chipping, the club head never overtakes the hands. Really? So here we go. Ball a little forward of the middle. Sandwich wide open. A nice nice wrist cock and down and through as you can see there not only is the club overtaking the hands the ball is behind the club the club is overtaking the ball even though this is a short shot look how far I turn through it face the target look how high the club head finishes so if you want to hit it high not only does the club head overtake the hands sometimes it will even overtake the ball another set of four good wrist cock drive down into the ball club head overtakes the hands full follow through and all for a short shot See, th this is a myth that the I mean, look look how much the club head overtook my hands there and overtook the golf ball you know, it's a myth that everything stays in front, that your weight is in front, your hands are in front. I'm only going 15 yards here. Maybe less. You can really chop the legs off it. That was a bit short. Try it again. Really chopping the legs off it. It's only when it comes to traditional chipping where everything is forward and the club head stays behind when you're hitting the low one that that the club head never over, overtakes the hands is actually true. This isn't the best place for a low runner but this was my little space on the green at the time. It was a bit busy. So the weight's a little forward, the hands a little forward but not excessive. But by keeping the club head a little bit behind, it's de-lofted, it comes out lower, it runs. I don't quite turn as much to the target. The ball is long gone before the club head follows through. It's a completely different shot. I love all these old sort of myths and expressions and sayings and how many of them are just complete nonsense. You want to hit a high chip? Look what my club head is doing. It is most definitely overtaking my hands. You need to get used to that. Get, get the idea in your head that to go up you've got to open this face and point it at the sky and accelerate and go past the golf ball. Let's try a few more. Last set of sand wedges. Do you know what? I could stay here for hours amusing myself around a green like this. Stood a little open, face is open. See how high the club head finishes for such a short shot and how I turn through to face the target because it is a much longer swing or longer follow through than an ordinary chip so you see there are two ways of chipping one way you de-loft keep everything in front of the ball and one way you release and you finish high. Want to hit the ball high, finish high.
you know it's good to get used to uh, playing one or two different shots round the greens and opening up the sand wedge overtaking the golf ball pointing this club face at the sky that'll help you in bunkers too because what I've just there, done there is to play a bunker shot of tight grass cheerio <laughs>